Hello everyone. Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Uh, I'm Lotto Lai. I'm honored to be invited one, as a one of speaker for this global virtual summit on future of quality in higher education. My topic named Innovation Methodology and Training Case in Hong Kong Universities. First, I will introduce the quality education in Hong Kong in the past 10 years, and then I will, I will also introduce how I developed innovation methodology education in Hong Kong universities, uh, especially in VWAM, the CTU course, and also VWAM, the PolyU course, and then I will introduce the key element related to innovation especially I, I introduce a standards. Um, at the end, I will share uh, student assignment and portal to see what is the result they received. It is a uh, many event arranged by International Academy for Quality, I'm also attended. For Quality in Education Think Tank, the first symposium is in Hong Kong, in CTU, uh, 2012. And then uh, it is the first time we arrange this uh, quality pro as professional to discuss the education in history in Asia Pacific. Now, I would like to introduce the quality education in Hong Kong. First, I will talk about uh, Hong Kong Society for Quality contribute to Hong Kong qualifications framework since uh, 2011. At that time, I studied the development of quality professional model. Find several gaps between the university education to the industry. We are focusing in the three dimension education, it's a basic training, and then we go to uh, experiment, uh, involve uh, attitude and skill, and also know how the knowledge or body of knowledge. So, how to fill up the gap is the role of the Hong Kong Society for Quality want to. Uh, uh, fill it. At that time, uh, we developed different programs such as HKSQ Certified Quality Engineer, Certified System Green Belt, Certified System Black Belt, and also Laboratory Quality Specialist are uh, embedded in the different course of the university. Involved a uh, Bachelor degree, uh, Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Science, also master degree, etc. And then I would like to introduce Hong Kong Qualifications Framework. It is established or launched since uh, May 2008. It is a course sessional hierarchy covered both academic and vocational qualification required by various industries. And there are seven levels in order to support qualification of academic and vocational and continued education. In order to strengthen the industry leading role in development of vocational education or training, we will develop the specification of competence standards, SCS, to formulate the specific for specific industry. So quality uh, belongs to testing, inspection and certification industry. We, we involved in this one. And there are the first level, second level is a form fee, form five is a certification level. And then level three, go to diploma, level four, associate degree or higher diploma, level five, go to degree, level six, master, level seven is PhD. And we form the Test, inspection, and certification 
ITAT Group is in the Industrial Training Advisory Committee. I'm also one of member. And we also have the award screen to encourage student life learning and joy the activity worldwide. Uh, in our discipline, testing, inspection, and certification, and one of the conference government accepted is the ANQ AC Level for Quality Congress every year. Uh, if the awardee uh, they win the screen and can join freely for the listed uh, conference. We are not only working alone, we, are, we would like to ally with the European. So it is a summer government uh, role to ally our qualification framework with the European qualification framework. Now, back, back to our uh, how to transfer from quality education to become an innovation education. So I developed some innovation methodology education program in Hong Kong. I would like to introduce different innovation methodology to the university undergrad and postgrad student. So, uh, especially in some engineering and science discipline student. In CTU, we have the program called Professional Engineering Practice uh, under Bachelor of Engineering in System Engineer and Management and also Intelligent Manufacturing Engineering. And I revamped it since 2020. Importantly, you are also invited to teach the course Management of Innovation and Technology under the Master's Degree in Knowledge and Technology Management in this year. So I also added innovation and startup related content in the, course, in the uh, lecture. This is a new uh, syllabus in CTU I arranged in 2020, and the whole structure, uh, uh, the whole structure I arranged. At that time, I only added two lectures are related to uh, innovation, other maybe mainly in the quality. These two lectures. In the lecture three is about the innovation technology management. Uh, I explained the an innovation trend and also new uh, innovation tools and their management. And then I introduce how you use this innovation idea, become an entrepreneur, become a startup, and, and also teaching the business model in the lecture six. And they need to uh, give me some assignment. However, it is a very short, but just, just an introduction. This is a, some, uh, a slide in my overall course. You see it introduced the industrial development and also sustainable development is ESG related. And this is the overall the trend of the innovation and technology management and advanced technology and AI, in here AI and quality, uh, industrial 4.0 and quality 4.0 propose, enterprise and startup ecosystem, and effort management and professional code of conduct. It is the main uh, coverage of the uh, professional engineer practice in CTU. After I uh, we went and get the response from the student. I write the paper in this uh, HKIE paper. You can see this one. So the whole content is here and you can also see some response from the uh, student to understand uh, how they understanding uh, in different disciplines. Uh, they like uh, to be start or entrepreneur before and after the lecture. And then I also separate, there are two types of students. One uh, more co-related is an 
industrial oriented and other type of very correlated uh, technology oriented course. So there are two types of students after finished all the lectures. And then uh, in entrepreneurship and startup, one year later, I'm also uh, writing another article in the uh, Hong Kong Institute of Engineer because this course is a credited course by HKIE. So how we can encourage the student go through the startup life cycle and their technology readiness. And then we also introduce the training from Hong Kong Tech 300 is a uh, in history from CTU for eight weight training models. After that, uh, during the course, every course, I will introduce the China or regional innovation method named extenders. I'm also write a book to introduce the basic theory to other students follow the methodology to create their new product and service and then use another lecture knowledge to build their business model and present to us. And how can we avoid the uh, extended because it's a pandemic area, I try to use the extended innovation method to enhance and given the strategy to improve the decision quality, to enhance uh, this uh, treatment and also writing in my, uh, uh, also in the HKIE journal as a coverage story and using this uh, decision quality and using the extended, it is a basic element theory for extension model after the different analysis to the standards to solve the contradiction problem and finally we will propose the policy epidemic policy cycle diagram give the path to enhance this uh, making quality uh, between the dynamic zero and coexistence with virus how can we make this decision and use the standard can uh, given the better solution And then I, I would like to introduce in the point you and other uh, master course, uh, I'm using uh, this approach to extend. Because this course is related to management in uh, innovation and technology. I will, my part is related to innovation. So you can see in the beginning, I introduced innovation and technology, and then involve the twist extension innovation methodology and how uh, the innovation culture established and also ISO 156 and uh, V6002 the innovation management system have has been introduced and then I'm also introduced the startup business model innovation at the end they need to present their final project this is the letter one I used the bow from the right buttons. It's a very structural introduce your strategy management for and management technology and innovation and internal innovation and external acquisition of the technology and then how to do it. It is a structure. And then I introduce the whole uh, innovation tools and then specific on the trees first. You can see this is the a trend of innovation and separating the different industrial revolution together with the quality development and innovation tools development. And then I will introduce the master's uh, level one, two, three training roadmap to the student, and then I only uh, mainly um, teaching them the level one and a little, little bit level two, uh, the concept of the uh, trees. 
Yes, I think if, if people uh, study the innovation will under uh, below this, it is uh, the theory of solving problem inventively. If I'm uh, Asura, uh, develop this is war mostly innovative patents he study and consolidate how to solve contradiction problem. This is the evolution of the trees. Most important, you understand how to use the contradiction uh, matrix. I teach students, they need to understand the 1 to 39 engineering parameter and how to employ the 14 innovative principles. So that is why it is a more likely for science background student because it's a, a little bit a difficulty if you have a lot engineering or science background. Some case I'm sure in Hong Kong, uh, in CLP, China Light Power, they apply the twist to solve their power transformers overheat problem. And it is the solution after they use the twist. And then I present in the Saudi Arabian in the sixth national quality conference. And other industry in Hong Kong, it's uh, time gas, they build up the dream zone and employ the 14 industrial principle in here. And every time they will uh, show their innovative uh, solution during the quality day. Anyway. And then I also uh, share uh, in science part, I formed the uh, TRIS team uh, called the VD team and solved some uh, technical problem, our first portrait. It is for IC testing, we would like to enhance uh, the, the maximum loading in the oven. So we are modeling and use a trimming and then we decide the holder at the end we get the improvement the productivity improve more than the 12. In letter V I will introduce the extension innovation methodology it is China original developer also solve contradiction and less scientific student background like uh, a twist is slowly it is uh, more on the strategic modeling hello uh, professor Troy in uh, 2060 and that time uh, we joined the seminar we understand all oh, in the 1980 feet we have the one paper it's called extension set and incompatible problem that is the new science burnt at this year. And then extended is the using formal model to research extension possibility of things and the rule and method of innovation and apply all of them to solve contradiction problem. It is the, the training they decide in the level one, two and three and four and five for research. So I mainly teach the level one to the student to employ all this uh, solution. And it is uh, fundamental to solve the basic problem and create new creativity and new product. Teaching them the four steps for modeling, extension, transformation, and selection. First, they need to model their product and then extension is a divergent the idea and different combination in the transformation and then conversion to select which innovative idea uh, they will select uh, uh, as a final idea. It is a basic element. I need to ask the student to um, separate meta element in the object characteristic and value. And our fair element is like the function, the, the action, characteristic and value. The relation element is that object is a relationship term 
characteristic and value. After they model it, they can divergent and transformation. And then we also employed this in the DMAIC because we found the gap after analysis how to become your improvement solution. Use model extension, transformation, and extension. And Professor Truman, he also come to Hong Kong uh, to teach an um, education, a uh, primary or junior education group to uh, enhance their creativity. And it is the example, the project. After the training, the team built up this video to explain the idea how the creative different feature based on the divergency and different feature, different characteristic change. Uh, you can see this video as well. Okay, I'm also uh, teaching, uh, after teaching this extension innovation method, I will give our book uh, to every student for, for his or her further study. After that, we'll, another lecture we need to teach in the innovation culture is a uh, so this diagram shows the three major innovation theory from Russia, China, and America. America is more focused in innovation culture. So the very famous uh, innovation keynote speaker, Peter Perry, I will use his book, Innovation Never Stop. We introduced his idea for our students. Before they team it, I asked them to evaluate your teammate, either creator, connector, developer, or doer. So the lead, creator lead find the opportunity, connectors call, find the solution, developer to make the solution work, and doer is deliver the solution. Mm. Then I will ask them, uh, what is the innovation role in your team? So. You can use uh, Peter Perry's website, have the free self-assessment for these 10 questions. You ask them to identify which type you are more likely to be. And then, in each different stage, the culture team will be shift the responsibility. When you find the opportunity, creator is dominant and then is corrector. And minimum is a developer and doer. And then correcting the solution, corrector to dominate, creator will reduce responsibility, and developer dollar is the same. But when we user friendly, the developer is very important. We user friendly and and dollar will draw in and go to the market and get to the market, and then the dollar is dominant, and then other is uh, reduce the responsibility. So every role have their different function in different phase. In letter five, I'm also introduced the ISO 56002 innovative management system. I based on uh, Harrison spoke uh, using the ISO 
56002 Innovation Management System. It is a very comprehensive practical guideline, and I've used a part of them to introduce the whole uh, system. But one of the important things is uh, uh, how to address the opportunity and risk, and ask the student to try. And then the la last of my part in the, this lecture is uh, for project proposal feedback and startup business model innovation. I will introduce the business model galleries. And then we have some uh, business plan and milestone assessment to teach them and ask them, uh, the student give the, their proposal to us. And it is the, what, the startup cycle and how the student overcome the technology value of death after you have the MPF prototype and how do you overcome the commercialization value of that? At the end, they need to give a final portrait presentation. I give the guideline from the Hong Kong Tech 300 program like the CTU and you need to have a one liner to describe what your new product and your target and what is your company to do. Your problem uh, target group, your proposed solution, what is your minimal viable product, and describe your business model, how large your market, what is your projected growth, your milestone, who is your competitor, and your teammate, uh, and then ask them to fund, and your fund is your it means that you're budgeting uh, how to distribute. And every student gives self because mostly uh, it's seven students is a group and every student only one minute. So seven minutes for presentation and five minutes for Q&A. After all students present in the uh, PolyU uh, this time, I asked them to rate which fee are the, the top fee and then this is a summary, the top. And then the first one is the um, medical assistant. And then is the draft me is the second. Okay, so now they ask to see the student's uh, portrait assignment. This is the extension innovation method for the crop of the CTU student. Uh, they do that. Uh, it's a training photo. And uh, action is to fill in the bottom and then the component relationship. After that, they want to do the extension, have the different color, different size, etc. Like this one. And then have the function extension can fill at just a mix like this one. After that, the relationship can different cap or arrangement. So at the end, they propose fee idea and select which one is better. Uh, this water for add water and uh, disinfection, use UV, and or uh, use a heating and uh, keep the temperature or adjust temperature, or can not only the, the bottom, but it's a binder inside. And then they are uh, use the selection, different criteria. And okay, this is the first one. The second uh, team will ask them to do the business model carries. It is I uh, give the hints to them, and they do it. this one is the the character together with the group two in one. It's me, and they do this uh, business uh, model carry, and then the an analysis in depth, possibility, and also variable how to do that the business model, and finally. They have a different portrait. For example, this one is the uh, for the Hong Kong Tech 300 presentation uh, introduction. There are uh, problem, solution, product, etc. So I show what their presentation is. A, you are, take this. You are sick. You need to solve the problem to see the data. Use the app and identify very good user-friendly design 
to consult the doctor when you have sick. It's not serious, and you get faster response. And then this is the business model. Market is a huge, and their projection goal, their team, etc., their milestone, and competitive with a different assistant, a service provider. At the end, they ask the fund to expand uh, 4 million fund to develop their, their platform. The last uh, student, the dress up, is another team. They sold uh, the one layer is the uh, rec innovative recommended system to help users to outfit leads to solve their outfit very or fashion lead. It's some, some suggestion for the dressing. Uh, so the people like, like this one and to see their solution and their product system and their business model, project goals, etc. They have done uh, some data analysis and deliverable. Okay. So that is all. Uh, I just introduced uh, my course in these two years. Every year I think I train more than 100 students uh, to teach them the, about the innovation methodology, especially the China or regional innovation method land standards. And let it try and let it have the business mind how to use their innovation become a new product and propose uh, as a business model and do the pitching to the investor. So that is what I have done in these two years. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please ask me.